What is going on everybody? Matta222 here today bringing you guys another figure review. So today we are looking at the DC Multiverse Justice League Cyborg figure. So figure looks pretty cool, but before we talk about him, let's take a quick look at the packaging. It does have the G Justice League logo on the top left hand corner. It of course says DC Comics Multiverse across the top. Justice League Cyborg right down there with the Steppenwolf collect and connect figure nice shot of cyborg on the bottom left right there and the same shot of cyborg on the side brief little bio if you want to go ahead and read that you can pause this video now then on the back we have the other figures in the wave with the completed collect and connect figure and how he goes together uh, nothing really on the other side and on the bottom mattel logo barcode bunch of other stuff Warner Brothers all right guys so let's take a quick break so that I can free this figure and we will take a closer look so I will catch you guys on the other side okay so looking at cyborg out of the package he looks he, he looks nice he definitely uh, he definitely looks nice and I like the feel to him a lot of nice uh, re sculpted detail going on with this guy. A lot of nice stuff, but first things first, looking at the face sculpt, it looks pretty good. Uh, I would maybe have to rewatch the movie. I don't quite remember what the actor looks like, but uh, so I, I can't quite, I can't, so I can't comment on if it looks exactly like the actor, but I, I, I imagine it's pretty close. But, uh, sorry, there you go. But yeah, definitely loving the face sculpt. I love the little eye with the red. And then you got the lines right there. Very cool. Getting into his torso. A lot, lot of stuff going on in the torso. So you got some nice texturing over here where the kind of grayer metal is. And then on the top, it's got the red going down. Looks very cool. Some nice uh, texturing going on on there. Two nice detail on the back. I like this little part. It look, this, to me, this kind of looks like Vince uh, or a jetpack. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Does he fly in the movie, or did they cut that scene out? But yeah, like I can see that looks more like a jetpack or like a vent. It's got. I don't understand why it's just got the little bit of red there, and then nothing. So that that looks a little weird, but. I guess I'd rather have it. Uh, it's got a nice, like, robot butt, I guess. I don't know why he has, like, a sculpted butt. Like, it's like he's, you can see the indent of, like, his butt crack. Uh, I, I don't know. I don't know why that is, but it's something. And then the legs. Because he's, because he's cyborg, he's a robot, I really like how they do the knees and it doesn't look too bad or it doesn't look bad or it doesn't look weird because it's just like oh well he's just a robot so it looks fine so that's very cool and the feet are pretty standard it's got like one looks like uh like a japanese style like samurai feet with this with the sandals and like the one big toe and then the other toes am i the only one seeing that that's what it looks like to me guys maybe, maybe it's just me Maybe I'm just tripping, but that's what it looks like. And then again in the arms where the gray, the grayer metal is more gun metal. Some nice texturing. Hands don't really do anything. It just comes with these open hands. They look pretty good. Uh, yeah, they look pretty good, I guess. Pretty standard hands, right? Uh, something you can do, so you can pop this hand off I don't know if you could do it with both hands uh, I mean I tried it with the I tried it with the other hand and it seemed like it's it seemed like it seemed like I was about to break it so I don't know if it's you could do it with both hands but so you can pop the hand off and then you can ta attach his cannon his plasma cannon or laser cannon whatever you want to call it looks really good a lot of nice detail on there you can see the blue on the inside some nice texturing over on top and on the side. 
In the bottom, looking down the barrel, looks pretty good. It's hard to see, guys. I'm sorry, it's hard to see, but you can see it does look pretty good. So yeah, pretty uh, pretty cool. I don't know if I can do it on this hand, like I said. Uh, it feels like it doesn't really want to come off. And I don't want to try to break it. But, uh... So yeah, so definitely liking the cannon. Now getting into this guy's articulation. The head, you're supposed to get a side to side. It's very stiff when I try to move it to that side. But you should have a side to side. You should have a side to side on this guy. Up and down, you don't really get much. You just kind of get this little wiggle. Shoulders are on a bull peg. Bull peg? Why do I always say bull peg? Ball peg. And you can rotate them. They move in this far and out this far. So pretty good. You get the forearm swivel or upper arm swivel, I should say. Single jointed elbow. And then you get a forearm swivel down here. So pretty cool. Again, I think this is supposed to come off, but I'm just not forcing it. For torso articulation, all you get is a waist twist, which is uh, too bad. It feels like they perfect opportunity. They could have given him a nice ab crunch, but you know, you just get the waist twist. No wrist articulation, so you just get the rotation in the forearm. Nothing in the wrist. Hands don't move. <clears throat> Hips do move out here, and of course he has the DCUC style gaping crotch pit. But he can't kick that far forward so pretty decent and that's how far he kicks back <clears throat> so he can't really kick back at all he has a thigh swivel single jointed knee and the ankles do hinge forward and back but they do not rock side to side <sighs> oh he also comes with a build a figure piece but we'll take a look at that later or collect and connect figure piece so overall, my thoughts on Cyborg, uh, he's, he's not a great figure. He, he's not great. It, it feels like, I feel like the problem is they had a good opportunity to give him a lot of articulation because it's Cyborg, so it wouldn't have looked bad. It would have been fine, but they kind of, I think they kind of jipped us on the articulation. No ab crunch. Hands don't move, ankles barely move, head barely moves, everything feels stiff. So, I definitely, I do definitely like the look of the figure though. He definitely looks nice and I think he'll look good. I think he'll look good standing on your shelf. But, uh, there, there is some definite QC issues that uh, kind of hold this guy back. So, if you're not interested in the build a figure then I would say pass on this guy. There's way better cyborg. You could get other better cyborg figures. So that is it, guys. Thank you again for watching. Thank you again for all your support. Don't forget to, if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button so you do not miss any videos. I'm bringing you guys a new video every Monday through Friday. Please like this video, share it with your friends, leave me a comment. Any feedback you want to give me is always appreciated. Definitely tell me what you think of the figure. Tell me if you like him or dislike him. Check out all the social media links in the description. Uh, leave my Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram there. Uh, check out the Sanctuary on Facebook. And that is it. Thank you guys again for watching. I hope you have a great day. And I will catch you guys next time with another figure review. And...